Hi guys, in this video we'll be talking about anaerobic respiration, anaerobic respiration equations, and finally a summary. There are actually two types of respiration, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. In this video we'll be talking to you about anaerobic respiration. But what is anaerobic respiration? Well, anaerobic respiration is respiration without oxygen. A good way to remember this is to know that when you put the prefix an in front of a word, it means without. Aerobic means with oxygen, so anaerobic, since it has an an prefix, means without oxygen. This is because it has an an, the prefix at the front, which means without, and aerobic, which means oxygen. Therefore, it stands for without oxygen. We normally respire aerobically. So when does anaerobic respiration happen? Well, anaerobic respiration happens when you're exercising very hard and your heart and breathing rate increase. However, even though it increases, it still may not be enough to supply oxygen and glucose fast enough to your muscles. And because muscles need oxygen and glucose, muscles respire anaerobically. Now let's look at some equations for anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration, like aerobic respiration, still uses glucose. However, the glucose isn't broken down completely. It's converted into something called lactic acid. So the word equation for anaerobic respiration is glucose going to something called lactic acid. So we've talked about the fact that glucose is not fully broken down and this means that not all of the energy in glucose is released. Some of the energy can't be transferred to the cell. This means that anaerobic respiration is actually not as efficient as aerobic respiration. This is because less energy is transferred to the cell. So as it's not very efficient, anaerobic respiration is not used all the time. We normally use aerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration is only used in emergencies, such as when you're exercising hard or if a prey is chased by a predator. This is because the muscles are working really hard and don't get enough oxygen for aerobic respiration. One problem with respiring anaerobically is that anaerobic respiration also leads to a buildup of lactic acid. Lactic acid is actually poisonous and that leads to cramps when muscle cells stop contracting. If you've experienced this before, you know it can be very painful. So after you finish exercising, you still breathe heavily and this is to take in oxygen to break down the lactic acid. This is called an oxygen debt and you take in extra oxygen to repay it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.